guys, it's here. I didn't expect it to get here this early. I'm so excited. I have here the Spectrum Noir collaboration with Jazza. It is the Jazza Pro Artist Series Illustrator Collection, and I am going to unbox it for you here and just test out some of the supplies, talk a bit about the box. Uh, I believe you can still order it. I'll try to link it down below, uh, but I just am super excited. I got the previous Jazza box that he released um, a little while back now because he had a three-tiered one that I didn't purchase, uh, but this one seemed right up my alley. It has supplies that I'm not super familiar with using. He has tutorials on his channel on how to use them together properly, so I'm excited to learn and just become a little bit more skilled with my art and hopefully learn something about some new mediums that I don't normally use and then kind of try to apply them to mediums that I do use. So this should be a really fun adventure. Uh, this will probably be a multi video series uh, trying to use these, um, but this first video is just going to be unboxing, um, swatching, and then just talking about the supplies, possibly doing some artwork. Uh, we'll see, but without any further ado, let's unbox this puppy, shall we? All right, so it comes in this box. It has the Spectrum Noir tape specifically over it, so I knew what it was when I got to my door. I wasn't expecting it because I didn't realize it would ship so soon, but here it is, and I am going to just open it up. First thing in there was just a packing slip. I just wasn't sure if I was going to have my address on it, so I kind of covertly took it out of there so that you couldn't see that. Um, other than that, though, look at this. We have a thank you card from Mr. Jazza himself. It's got some discount codes on it. It has just a thank you and. Um, Oh, it also has a hashtag here, so that's cool. All right, look at this. Very nice. Ooh, hello. <laughs> so this, <laughs> that's so funny. They give you beard stickers because the Jazza on the materials doesn't have a beard. So you can actually add that. That is adorable. It also has these really, really cute like ninja markers and just a couple of different things. Sneak attack. It has the supplies. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I love stickers. Anything that includes stickers is definitely awesome. And then we have our box. So I'm going to take this out and kind of flip it around and then um, open it up. All right, here we have it. This is such a nice box even. Uh, really love this. Oh, it has some tape on it. Oh, look at the back of the box. The back of the box has a bunch of information on it. Um, so I'm just gonna put that there for a second. You can kind of read some of it. <laughs> so 24 illustrator markers, two marker storage trays, six art liner pens, 24 color blend pencils, two graphite pencils, one eraser, 20 line art designs, and 20 pieces of plain marker paper come in this box. This box cost me $100, and I, just looking at this list of supplies, would say it is definitely worth that. Finally, we can open this bad boy up, <laughs> because now we've removed all of the tape. And there we have it. Beautiful, beautiful. Here in the front of the box, oops. In the front of the box, we have the 26-piece marker set, so the markers plus the two trays that it comes with, so we'll open that up separately in a second. Underneath that, we have our prints that we can color on this really nice thick marker paper that I am so excited to explore, so this is the top one here. We'll have to pick one of these to color, and you know what, that's what I'll do in this video, is I'll color one of these, because... I am not good at coloring, <laughs> and Jazza just released a video coloring one of these, so hopefully with his tips I can do a little bit better than I normally would. Then we have just the plain marker paper. Uh, this is also awesome. Um, the last box that he had actually came with a sketchbook, so I also have that sketchbook that I can use these supplies on in addition to pretty much every other sketchbook that I own because um, markers and graphite pencils and colored pencils are pretty you know, easy to use on any surface that you have, as long as you prevent from bleeding by putting something underneath. 
This set also comes with some fine line pens, which is amazing. I'm so excited to try these out. Um, I often find that my fine liners don't do well with markers, so hopefully these do. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. They are waterproof, marker proof, and acid free, so that uh, bodes well. <laughs> and then we have just a plain eraser here. I don't love the feel of this eraser, um, but I have a million other erasers. I don't need, you know, the top tier eraser in this set. <laughs> we also have two pencils here. They are 2B. Oh, oh, we got an HB and a 2B. Oh, that's so nice. I wasn't sure if he would provide uh, varying lead hardnesses, but he did, so that's exciting. And then the final supply in here are these colored pencils, which kind of require a bit of effort to get out, but um, it is a 24 piece of colored pencils. Here is just kind of a general overview of all of these supplies. So we've got 24 markers, 24 colored pencils, 20 coloring sheets, 20 marker papers, six fine liners, two pencils, one eraser, which is hiding behind these, a sticker sheet, all for $100. So I think this is a fantastic value and I am so, so excited to get swatching everything and get using everything. Let's go. Okay, first things first the beard <laughs> this is so funny so i think we just pop this puppy right there look at that beautiful beautiful oh my gosh and it even includes like the line to keep it consistent with the rest of the face that's so funny good job jazza good job it's extra little touches like that that make it clear that uh, spectrum noir really wanted to work hard with jazza to make this and really came through <laughs> Let's see if I can open this. There we go. Nope, maybe. There we go. I got it. A little bit tough to open. All right, look at this. Here's the markers. We have our Illustrator alcohol markers. Combine a super fine tip with a flexible yet precise Japanese made brush for an incredibly smooth premium artistic field with controlled curves, expressive flicks, and flawless laydown of color. So we've got the color range here. Oh wow, oh, and they already come in the tins. I thought I was going to have to like assemble the tins. Apparently not, I can just take them out of here. Whoop, and they, they will slide out uh, if you're not careful, but they do come pre-packaged in the tins. They've got a really nice range of colors here. And according to Jazza, there's only three repeats of colors from the last set. So I think one of them is like a gray, one of them is the invisible liner, and one of them, uh, I'm not sure, I'll have to check with my other set which one it is. But yes, and these are supposed to stack. So actually I think I'm gonna put the more colorful one on top and just Pop that into place wow and it does it stacks beautifully look at that so pretty love this so much and i'm very excited about it and then we have here the color blend spectrum noir colored pencils which i can't open because there's a sticker on it awesome look at that and wait a minute wait a minute there's a sticker for this one too. So I think that will be this sticker right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. It's adorable again. I think, I can't tell if his nose is supposed to be on the outside or the inside of the sticker, but regardless, there you have it. Jazza has a beard now. Aha, and we've got a bit of film over the top. Oh, and it just comes off like that, great. Great, great, great. And then film just comes off just like that. That looks awesome. Ooh, and these are super nice. They feel very thick. They feel almost like the um, Faber-Castell pencils that were in the first set. So I don't have any of these colored pencils. I have the Faber-Castell ones that were included in the prior box. So these will be all new to me. I don't use colored pencils very frequently. 
but I'm hoping that with this set of colored pencils I can start using colored pencils a little bit more frequently and kind of use them to make my paintings better. <laughs> Uh, I also plan on using them to make my marker illustrations better because I'm not good at marker illustrations. But this color range looks beautiful. I'm very excited about these as well. And one last thing to unbox. We have the Art Liners, the Fine Liners by Spectrum Noir. Uh, it looks like we even get a little beard for this guy, so that's exciting. We can put a beard on him little beard. <laughs> Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> and then we can go ahead and open these guys up too. I'm not a huge fan of this type of box. Does anyone else have trouble opening these types of boxes? Because I clearly do. Oops, oh no, now I've ruined it. See, that's why I don't like these boxes. look at that all right beautiful um i will say that these feel a bit more cheaply made than the rest of the supplies like these feel um almost cheaper than the sakura fine liners that i have and they i don't know what it is about them but they don't they don't feel very premium quality but if they work well that won't matter so we'll swatch everything in a second. Uh, I just wanted to give you my very first impressions of these and kind of just show you everything that comes in this box. All right, I cut a piece of the marker card in half so that I don't use the whole thing. And then I am just going to swatch all the materials. So I'm gonna swatch the markers first, then the colored pencils, and then the fine liners. And then I think I chose one of my prints here. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna, attempt to color this print. Uh, there's a really great variety of prints in the pack. They've got really nice fantastical ones, some that are a lot more simple and more um, cartoony. So I'm really interested in this one particularly, but um, hopefully I can use the other ones to practice as well as I get more and more familiar with these supplies. are the finished swatches so all of the markers are there followed by all of the colored pencils in the order that they came in in the tin and then each of the individual fine liners which as you can see kind of these three don't really have that much variation in weight and then you get progressively heavier weight as you go forward uh, the colored pencils have like pretty much the exact same colors as the markers so I totally see why he chose the colors that he did and it's convenient that they were kind of all already in the same order so if i look at this this spectrum of color it's like the same exact thing as what's up here so that's really cool it tells you which colors go with which colors and i think that was just a really good way to lay it out and i do appreciate that as far as the paper it is really nice weight um it is a little bit more matte than i was expecting 
like you can hear the it's not like a texture but it's just really matte i don't know if this is how marker card always is um the bristol board that i have that i usually use markers on is a lot more smooth um i don't want to say glossy but it's it it doesn't have that much it doesn't feel as rough i guess is what i'm trying to say um, you can see that the markers do ghost through, so if you're expecting them not to, um, don't. <laughs> and I'm just looking here on the surface here. I don't see where any markers actually bled through, though, so that's good. Um, they basically just ghosted through, especially on the end where um, it was a little bit more pressure on the marker and they were left there for longer. So that is about the extent of the bleeding. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to color one of the coloring sheets that Jazza provides in this fantastic box. I would like to start this kind of coloring process by saying I am in no way, shape, or form skilled with markers. This is all going to be a learning experience for me. I've seen so many very incredible marker illustrations done across, you know, just surfing YouTube and having artists that I follow that are so skilled in this medium. So uh, if you're looking for tips on how to be really good with markers, I'm not the person for you. <laughs> uh, that said, I did watch Jazz's video that he put out on how to use these supplies in conjunction to kind of work together and come up with some really cool blends and really um, just good looking pieces. So I have watched that video. I will try to link it down below so that if you're interested, you can go and check that video out because he really explains these exact supplies and how to use them together. And I thought that was really helpful. So I've watched that video and what I started with was just a flat kind of color of just to establish what my base colors would be so that I understood what I was looking at. Because to be honest, um, looking at this illustration, it wasn't entirely clear what distinct pieces were. So like the little scaly bits that you see me coloring in the pink, uh, I assumed that that was where the flesh had been ripped from the dragon. And so I kind of wanted to make those more bloody if you will and then uh, the blue parts underneath the jaw I honestly wasn't sure but they appeared to be dripping so I tried to make them more of like a saliva type thing the bit under the chin I thought was kind of like a almost a throat guard if you will some lizards kind of have some rough skin uh, underneath their throat and so I thought that's what that was meant to be so I made it a darker shade and then all of the horns and things I thought were bone colored, so I went with the dusty, sandy kind of bone color. I loved painting, the, or I loved drawing, coloring. I loved coloring the eyes. Uh, it was the most fun part. I tried to use a blending technique that Jazza had illustrated as far as like coloring in a sphere, but I used yellow and then the red color and then went back in with the crimson red color just to deepen up the reds so that it was really clear that the little veins in his eyes <laughs> were bulging. Overall, I think that these supplies worked really well together. Uh, I was really pleased with how well the markers colored. Uh, as you can see, I kind of used the technique to go in the direction of uh, the object that I was coloring. So with this horn, I really made sure to kind of arc the stroke so that it looked less streaky. I didn't want a lot of streakiness. And I found actually that if I went back over it with another color, or if I even went back over it with the same color, I could reduce the streakiness even more. So if you're seeking to reduce streakiness in your marker illustrations, that might be, you know, a good tip for you. These markers did blend beautifully. I was really impressed with how well the color just kind of blended together and truly how little streakiness I was able to achieve because being unfamiliar with a medium, it is so easy <laughs> to get that streakiness involved. Um, when I went back in with some of the colored pencils, I will say that those did introduce some more streakiness into the illustration. I think, again, just because I'm fairly not used to 
using colored pencils. I'm not like a big colored pencil person. And so I think the more and more that I use these supplies and I just push myself to get better and improve with them, I will be able to kind of work with them a lot better. Uh, one of my other favorite art YouTubers, Tammy Danzo, uses colored pencils, and I know that she also bought this set, so she already released her video. Um, I will also leave that linked down below if you're interested, but I'm going to go watch it personally and hopefully learn some additional tips from her video so that I can be better prepared to use these supplies in the future for illustrations that I'm more interested in. Like, this was a coloring sheet, so I didn't have to do any of the work to draw it, which was super nice <laughs> because a lot of the times the drawing aspect it, it's not only time consuming but if you don't get it right it can just ruin your entire illustration so it was nice not to have to worry about that part for this uh, and I think that that's a great way to practice your coloring, especially for someone like me who is not super familiar with coloring in general. Like I usually use paint. So paint is relatively easy to color with because you can cover huge amounts of space with like very minimal effort. Whereas with this, you really have to be patient. <laughs> and I'm, I guess, not a super patient person. So I think I will just go watch her video, try to see for like portrait painting and port, well, okay, portraiture, I suppose this is not painting, <laughs> um, for portraiture and just like subjects that I am more used to illustrating uh, how I would then go about using these supplies because I think that Jazza doesn't really do a lot of realism and he doesn't do, um, you know, that application necessarily. So I think between Jazza and Temi, I've got some great YouTube resources to learn from and I am very excited to do so. Uh, rounding out the kind of like horns <laughs> in this illustration, I went back through with the colored pencil again to kind of bring out the depth of the color. And I will say, I think that is a fantastic application of the colored pencils on top of these markers. You can get really cool effects just using these colored pencils um, on top of the markers. Uh, I have not really tried much with going over them again. I did go back through with the, the base purple color just to make the purple pop more and it worked great like over the colored pencils it does go over really well uh what it doesn't do though is it doesn't really blend out to your colored pencils anymore so if you leave streaks below the marker you're still gonna see those so just you know be aware of that um overall i would give this set just a 10 out of 10 i was so impressed with it overall i think it really helps me develop an illustration that I wouldn't otherwise have colored very well or wouldn't have gotten the results that I did. So uh, really excited, really feel like I got my bang for my buck on this product. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that you liked this video. Let me know if you got the Jazza uh, Professional Artist Series collection as well. Let me know what you thought of the supplies down below in the comments and let me know what you would like to see me make with these supplies or if you want any kind of like learning like beginner tutorial like draw with me type things um or what you'd be interested in seeing uh again i do really appreciate you watching if you liked the video i would really appreciate it if you'd give it a like uh consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell as it does help out this channel a ton and i will catch you guys in the next one bye